Okay, uh, we're going to do the main body panel of the, um, the skimmer. And the main body panel is going to be on the lower half of our um, paper. So here it is, and you can see it's um, four inches wide to there. And then each of these dotted lines is a half an inch away from the edge. And this here is a three inch square with a dotted line on this edge. Okay. So you're going to uh, find the four inch mark on your ruler. And you're going to line that four inch mark with the edge of your table. With the edge of your paper, rather. And you're going to mark at the zero. Make sure you know where the zero is on your ruler before you begin. Okay. And we're going to do one more mark at four inches. And we're going to line this up and do a nice heavy, not heavy, but a solid line. Solid lines mean cut. Okay. So, and I'm going to label this here. You should too. Your main body panel. The reason we label this now is the other half of the paper is four and a half inches wide, but they look very similar. So we like to label this and make, just make sure we cut out the correct one. And then up, or, up here, we're gonna put your name and your period number. Okay. All right, so those dotted lines are half an inch away from each edge of the main body panel. So we are going to put our ruler back where it was. Okay, so it lines up with zero and four inches at the bottom. Okay, and then we're gonna put a mark at a half an inch and three and a half inches. We're gonna move it over here, put a mark at a half an inch and three and a half inches. And again, make sure you put your ruler at zero up here, half an inch and three and a half inches. And then we're gonna put these lines in place. These are gonna be dotted lines because they are fold lines. Notice I hold my ruler with even pressure across the entire width of the, the middle of the ruler. And that's because when I push my pencil against the edge of it, I don't want it to rotate out of position. So if I was just holding it in one place, I could use my pencil and it would rotate it out of position and that would make my line crooked. So as I put the ruler in place, I try not to move my paper, which I just did. Okay, so my, my line straightness is only, you know, my skimmer is only as good as my straight lines are. So you going to make sure that your lines are as straight as you can get them by making sure you use three marks every time you need to mark an edge. Okay, so there's your main body panel. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by constructing the fins. If you look at the layout, my fin number one is up on this left hand corner, but it is three inches wide here. This measurement is three inches from here to here. And so is the distance from here to here. So we can just measure this all at once using a very light line called a construction line. And we're going to measure out three inches from the left edge. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then we make a very light line. You're gonna see, use extremely light pressure. This is a construction line. We're gonna erase most of this line. So we don't wanna have to erase a line that's really heavy. See, you can barely see it. And that looks crooked, but I don't think it is, okay. If I'm concerned that it's crooked, I can always measure. Oh, that's three inches. Okay. And that's three inches up there. Good. All right. Whatever. Okay. So uh, construction lines, we're going to erase. We're going to erase the line in between the main body panel edge and that fold line. Okay. And if my line is really heavy, it's going to be hard to erase. And I'm going to be a little confused when I assemble it. Is that a... Is that a Construction line or what is that? Okay. So right now this line is solid and these lines are dotted. We're going to change that. We're going to turn this 
into a dotted line. Okay, remember it stops here. And then these lines are actually, if you look at the layout, they're solid because we do cut them. We cut them into these little slits that a fin, the fins fit into. So make sure you line that up. So when you draw over that, it covers over those dotted lines. All right, so that is the end of your main body panel. I'm just going to correct that a little bit because that looked like it was a solid line to that edge. So these are all dotted and these are solid. Okay, so your main body panel is finished.